Hello, my name is Brent Haverstock. I'm a podiatrist and assistant professor with the Division of Vascular Surgery and Endovascular Therapy at the University of Alabama at Birmingham. I'm here to talk to you today about diabetes and your feet and how to avoid complications. Diabetes is a problem with your body that causes blood glucose levels to be higher than normal. This is also called hyperglycemia. Our, our insulin, which is the main product or protein that helps cells to absorb sugar, doesn't work correctly at the cellular level, or it's not produced properly by the pancreas, resulting in these elevated blood glucose levels. High sugar levels have effects over time, which can affect multiple organs within your body, but particularly your feet are what we are going to talk about today. Diabetes is very prevalent and becoming more of a problem in our society today. Approximately 30 million people in the country have diabetes. The, the prevalence in the country is about 9.4%. In Alabama here, we're the second highest in the country at 14.6%. It's estimated by 2050 that one in three Americans will have diabetes. When we compare this to how we are doing with cancer care this day and age, we found that in the last 25 years, there's been approximately a 27% drop in deaths associated with cancer. However, we see a trend in diabetes that is becoming alarming. And as we can see with one in three Americans having diabetes with in the next 30 years, this is going to be a major problem and impact on our healthcare system. So how does diabetes affect our feet? Well, the first thing it does is it causes damage to the nerves. Over time, this elevated blood glucose level or these high sugars within the system result in changes within the nerves. We think it might be a biochemical change or it could also be a problem with the circulation to the nerve, which results in changes within our, our nervous system. One of the main complaints that folks with diabetes will complain of is numbness in the feet. They also will exp uh, explain a sensation of tingling, burning. Really, any sensation that can be transmitted along a nerve will be accelerated or can be amplified with diabetes. Also, over time, the elevated blood glucose levels can result in changes to our circulation. We see blockages within the circulation, calcification within the blood vessels, all leading to diminished blood flow down the extremity and to the foot, which can cause problems. These two in conjunction can also result in changes to the structure of the foot. Over time, as we see the nerves changing, it changes the muscles in the feet. We see the strength changes within the feet. Some muscles have a stronger advantage than others, so we start to see things like hammer toes developing, prominent metatarsals on the ball of the foot, and these are all areas of increased pressure. Over time, they result in callus formation. That callus can become traumatic in nature, blister and breakdown resulting in an ulceration. So again, when we look at the general factors that result in an ulceration or a complication in the foot, with, it, with regards to our overall health, uncontrolled hyperglycemia or diabetes that's out of control, the longer an individual has diabetes, the greater risk they have for developing an ulceration, peripheral vascular disease, blindness or, or visual loss, chronic renal disease, and as we get older, we're at a higher risk of developing these complications. Again, the local manifestations include the peripheral neuropathy or that loss of sensation in the foot or the sensation of pain. Pain is very important to the body because it stops us from doing something or allows us to recognize that there's an injury about to occur. With peripheral neuropathy, we lose that sensation of pain in the foot and we're not identifying that there is something going on down there. Again, that in conjunction with structural deformities result in trauma, particularly with poorly fitting shoes, People with a history of uh, prior ulceration are also at higher risk of re-ulceration. So when you look at this diagram, we can see with the neuropathy, the structural changes, and autonomic neuropathy, which results in dryness of the skin. On, underneath of the big toe, we can see the callus starting to form. With that repetitive trauma, the callus blisters underneath, and the bottom slide demonstrates the ulceration that has developed underneath of the big toe joint. So here we see a neuropathic ulceration that's developed on the plantar aspect of the foot under the big toe and under the second metatarsal, which are very common prominent pressure areas on the foot. So how can we avoid these complications from occurring? You want to see your doctor on an annual basis and make sure that they do evaluate your feet as part of your diabetic checkup. They want to determine if you are at risk of complications and if you are, you should receive regular foot care. If you have toenails that are thickened or difficult to manage, if you have corns or calluses on your feet, this is not something that you should try to manage yourself at home or perform bathroom surgery. We would like to see you in a podiatrist's office or your family physician or some specialist that can manage these problems for you. 
Inspect your feet daily. Use a mirror to look at the bottom of your feet, check in between your toes, look for areas of any redness or pressure, an area that may indicate that there's a problem starting to develop. If you're unable to evaluate the foot yourself, have a family member have a look at the bottom of your feet or check in between your toes or on the top of your foot for you. Have your shoes professionally fitted. This is probably one of the main problems with folks that have lost the sensation in their feet. They can't feel the pro prominent areas in the shoes. If there's a pressure area or rubbing, or even if they drop a piece of Lego into the bottom of their shoe and walk on that all day, which I've seen in the past, that results in a wound. So it's very important to check your shoes daily as well as to look for any pressure points. We've developed a program at the University of Alabama at Birmingham, an advanced limb preservation program or clinic, which our focus is really amputation prevention, research and education. If you or a loved one have a problem with your feet or concerned with regards to the overall health of your feet or have developed a complication, please call UAB and they will direct you to the clinic.